good, but to be great, you gotta have confidence. The next level was legend. You gotta have accomplishment. Today, from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. San Francisco 49ers versus Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers. It's a rematch of Super Bowl 47, minus one Harbaugh. The Ravens and 49ers are underway. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by Mr. Irrelevant in the 2022 draft, a guy with something to prove, Iowa State's career passing leader, and that's Brock Purdy. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he is advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. begins with a run by McCaffrey and forget about finding a lane he barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield it'll go as a loss of three right away and it's second down here's Purdy the first catch of the game for George Kittle so the completion results there in nine yards and now we've got a third and four Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Four catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And yeah, that will bring up second down. Counting down down toward the midway point in quarter one. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 19. 15 yards there on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Purdy. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. The quick slant caught. Touchdown 49ers. George Kittle, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point, ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you don't like that call on the opening drive of the game. It's a very strong limb that you're out on right now. Okay, hey, look, the game between college and the NFL continues to creep closer, but that is truly a college play, not an NFL play. Because you'd snap the ball from the three-yard line there, whether it's going for one or going for two. So it makes sense to try it that way to maybe fake it. In this case, from the 15, makes zero sense. And now your lead's just 6-0 instead of 7-0. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. Now Jackson on first down, incomplete. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Jackson. That would complete to Prochet. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. 6-0 our score after one. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. Call it an even 40-yard punt, seven though on the return. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense, ready for their second drive. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On first down, Purdy. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. 
And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Jackson going to keep it running right. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. You call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun on third down, Jackson. Uh, he's got it. And in for the Ravens' touchdown. James Prochet, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are an extra point away from taking the lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post wrap? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Justin Tucker for the extra point. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. to six. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think, kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards to pick up there. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. There's Purdy on first and 10. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Up the gun, McCaffrey. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. 
passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. And that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Purdy with it on third and long. And the grab by Croft. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, right around the 18-yard line. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. They put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes the field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. First down now, but that clock rolling. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Devin Duvernay, 66 yards. And the Ravens are once again back in front. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead is up to five. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. I believe this is what you would call growing pains here, partner, because this defense obviously took the challenge facing the rookie, and they wanted to help indoctrinate him to the NFL. So now the big question is, can he answer that challenge and rebound with plenty of time remaining in this game? I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. They're hoping that'll deflate the offense a little bit after they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. That's into the hands of Prochet. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Now it's Jackson. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. It's Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. 
So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front as we send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Hill going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game. So probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game. And down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Hit and drop behind the line by Dre Greenlaw. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. They'll try to draw here with Dobbins. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards and it moves the sticks. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now flags come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. A give up the middle to Dobbins. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Behind the chain, second and 12. Here's Jackson to throw. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Gibson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. A man who has done this a lot, Justin Houston, in there to record the sack. Oh, boy, he got a favorable spot there. The guys on the sidelines were raising their hands over their head and clasping their hands to signal safety. But the official marked it just outside the end zone at the one-yard line. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. A gain of eight there on the play. And third and eight now. 
such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Out of the gun, Purdy. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. And Jackson so tough to stop. He's got a first down, and he gives himself up there at the end. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. But Jackson going to run again. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And this is going to be 49er football. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I have to think a major focus at a halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And that will be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Three yards remain for second down. They go play action now. Jackson. that gets him is just a yard and now it's third down they'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here play action now Jackson on the move to his left and he'll be brought down just shy of the 40 and Brandon this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. And the Niners get there and bring him down. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. But we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. From midfield now, here's Jackson. 
That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent gain. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. They're going for it with Dobbins. And he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call. And the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Here's Purdy. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a flag comes out as that is batted down and incomplete. And I think there was early contact. Let's check the call. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. And you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? Purdy to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Back to throw. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens have just about sewn up this football game. And this is one heck of an individual performance we're witnessing. That is now his third interception. And keep in mind, folks, this isn't a safety or a cornerback. This is a linebacker. Does this feel to you like he's having a flashback? Because a lot of these linebackers we see in the NFL, in high school, they were offensive stars. They touched the football all the time. It's like he said to himself, let's go back and put on the letter jacket and go get the football. How about this one? Three interceptions thus far. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Kind of a strange ball game, Charles. We did not have a single point by either team after half. A really a defensive clinic by both sides in half number two. And wasn't that just beautiful to watch? Come on, man. Come on to the dark side with me. Wasn't that fun to see these defenses holding sway, right? Making sure they're controlling the game in the second half. It lets you know that you've got to score points when you can. You never know when offenses might go a little bit dry and you need those points from earlier.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.